Hey guys, it's Carrie, your friendly makerspace librarian from the Rapid City Public Library, back with another science short. And today we're going to revisit something that we've looked at before. We're going to look at hydrophobic sand. It's got some practical uses, but it's kind of cool to see what happens to it in just an experiment. We are going to take regular sand and we are going to make it basically repel water. We'll see what that looks like and what it could be used for. So I have some regular sand here and I have sprayed it down with a Scotch Guard water repellent. And you can see it's still sand. It looks like dry sand looks. But when we take it and we add it into the water, it sort of separates out. It clumps together to itself, but it doesn't do what sand normally does when you stick it into water. And we'll see, I'll take out one of those bigger clumps. And although it looks super wet on the outside, it is just regular sand on the inside. So it is effectively sort of repelling the water. Scotchgard contains kind of an oil-like substance, and we know that oil and water don't like each other. And that's sort of what we see happening here. One of the more practical uses of this type of technology is in places where it gets really cold and you can't dig things up in the winter because the moisture content in the ground is too heavy, you can bury electrical junction boxes and things like that in this type of sand. And that way you have access to it. You can dig it up because it's gonna act just like regular sand instead of you know, concrete hard dirt like we get here in the wintertime. I like when we can take a look at things that react differently with just a little bit of change to them. And that's all we've got for today. Thanks for following along and I hope to see you back next week for another science short.